Hey everybody, it's uh, GameEcho516 here, back with another review. Um, this time on Transformers Generations Red Alert. You can see him here in the middle here. And, uh, it's pretty sweet looking, kind of slick Lamborghini looking, almost. That's why, if you can see, I'm comparing him to the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Scout Class Breakdown. Which, kind of, you can see the similarities there. And then also we have Universe Inferno, which is also a Lamborghini type of vehicle. Also happens to be a fire rescue. And fire rescue. Now transformations are completely different between these three vehicles. But, you know, overall the cars, they both have the white, they've all got this red little sticker type thing on the front, decal, whatever you want to call it. But overall, this uh, Red Alert's a pretty sweet figure. Take a 360 look at him. Even uh, right down to the license plate, and you can see that, it says uh, Alert, 05 Alert right there. It's pretty sweet. Here you can see the uh, tailpipes, which if you pop this off, converts to his gun, which that's pretty cool. Set that aside. Uh, we'll keep continuing with 360 here. See he's got some pretty cool rims. It's kind of him, kind of standard. It says fire rescue here on the side. And back to the front, it says fire rescue with kind of just like a fire department badge logo type deal on the front there and also this the engine pops off set him down and kind of combines with this gun it's kind of weird to stay together sometimes but pretty much that's that's it for the gun there Stick that off to the side and back these guys up. And we'll go ahead with the uh, Red Alex transformation. Where's what you first want to do? Kind of pull this back and just pop these doors open slightly. They don't really go too far, but they pop open a little bit. Do the same on the other side. So once you do that, you can go ahead and slide that forward. I know this is not how the uh, directions say to do it but this is how I do it. You can take these just pull them off to the side here just like that. Then from there you can just take these and slide them right down. You know, rotate that. Rotate that. And there you can see the foot. There's this little thing that kind of sticks up and gets you to start getting the foot out. Sometimes these are kind of tricky. But you want to just rotate this out. And pull that down. And rotate that around. Do the same on the other side. Sorry if this gets a little difficult to hear. In the uh, basement and the furnace side uh, just clicked on. But anyway, there's that. Then you just want to rotate this whole thing around. And you pull out his arms. Same to the other side. Then you can see here this little thing kind of slides the other way. Just like that. And it does the same on the other side, which sometimes this is kind of a little bit of a pain to do, but, let's see, there we go, I'm sliding that one the wrong way now, and then you can just rotate these up, sometimes that does pop out, but it's no big deal, rotate those up. 
you want to pop this up, this little part of the grill there, or whatever it, you want to call it. And then, just rotate this whole thing down. So it just kind of snaps in place there. Now you can kind of tell where he's about to become. And if you rotate this, just like that, you can see the head pops out. We'll do that again. Rotate that. Boom. There's his head. And now on the arms, you just want to take these, slide it up, and reverse that. And that leaves him just like that with his hands out. Do the same on the other side. Slide that up. Rotate that around. Again, I apologize if this is hard to hear. The stupid furnace clicking on. And now, set him there. up there we go you take his gun here as I show you do uh, the connection process on that already which like I said sometimes it does like to pop out I kind of think it looks better without this on it anyway but it's what the instructions tell you to do now take this just pop it right in it goes into his right or his left hand and we'll just take this off, just because it's being kind of stupid right now. And you'll see, there is, red alert, in his robot form. He's actually quite well articulated. He does have complete 360 on his arms. Then there's a second joint here that can rotate 360 degrees. His elbows do bend. They can also go backwards and he can be double jointed if you wanted him to. His wrists do 360 as well. And that goes for the same on the other arm. His waist does swivel. Also his head does uh, 360. And you got joints at the knee, joints up here, I guess that would be considered at the hip. And like I said, 360, this would go 360, but this window here on the back kind of gets in the way of that. Um, and then also his foot does go up and down and side to side, but that's part with the transformation. Um, overall, I'd say he's a pretty cool figure. He's pretty well detailed in the head. Um, he kind of does have the, the lead piping. It's kind of hard to tell right now because I'm in the dark. Well, not really in the dark, but I don't have a light behind me, but it is pretty well done. Uh, and also here you can see he's got his Autobot symbol in the old style red and white. Looks pretty cool. Um, he does pretty. He does move around pretty good. Um, this figure would probably actually work well for a stop uh, motion. Cause he does have a lot of options for the way to stand him um, and the way to just you know do whatever you want with him. I do 100% recommend this figure to anyone um, out there collecting Transformers. Just in general, the the generation series that they're coming out with is pretty sweet so I'd recommend these figures to anyone that uh, is collecting. It kind of has that, that G1-esque kind of feel to them. I think they're pretty cool. I, you know, uh, there he is there. Um, also, you know, he's pretty cool. We take a look at the back of his box. It shows him in his cool action pose. It shows his vehicle mode there. It's pretty sweet. Then it says um, on it also 
as security director for the Autobots, Red Alert tries to keep his eye on everyone and everything. All the time, he installs hidden cameras and security sensors everywhere. Kinda knows if you ask me, but you know. And he keeps detailed records of known movements of enemies and allies alike. Nothing es escapes his attention, and to him, everything is significant. His paranoia keeps him constantly on edge, but is paid off more than once by stopping Decepticon plots before they did any damage. And he he's kind of watches you, I guess. Kind of just, I don't know. That he's he's cool, but you know he's kind of kind of the invader of privacy, I would guess. Um, from that, how that makes him sound. You know, we take a second look at this vehicle mode again. Take a look at the Universe Inferno. They look pretty similar, actually. But the, like I said, the transformations are completely different with him and the other two there. Uh, in just one second, we'll go through the comparisons real quick just between these two figures. Let me stop and I'll transform them real quick and we'll get back to this. Uh, tune in. I'm 